do is to identify our tiles. You have three different sized tiles amongst your algebra tile pieces. The smallest one is representative of an integer. So you can think of that as one. This tile here represents x. It represents our unknown or our variable. So if we're working with a problem that has n as a variable, this could be n. And then this large piece here is x squared. You can see that two x pieces multiplied together would make the x squared tile. So those are the three tiles that we have. Now if we flip them over, then their values become negative. In this way, we are able to represent both positive and negative 1, both positive and negative x, and both positive and negative x squared.